There are few paintings in the world that have been restored so beautifully and show such incredible details as this portrait of Pope Leo X and his cousins, Cardinals Giulio de' Medici and Luigi de Rossi. At the center is the 42-year-old Pope named Leo X, who was born as Giovanni de' Medici. He is portrayed in three-quarter profile, holding his gold-rimmed magnifying glass in his left hand. It appears that he was interrupted reading the magnificently decorated Bible in front of him, and Raphael captures them as very serious people, in line with the image they wanted to convey. They are captured against a dull grey background, making the bright colors in the foreground stand out even more. When Giorgio Vasari saw the painting in the 16th century, he was impressed by its beauty and described it as follows. In this, the figures appear not to be painted, but in full relief. There's the pile of the velvet, with the damask of the Pope's vestments shining and rustling, the fur of the lining soft and natural, and the gold and silk so skillfully wrought that they do not seem to be in paint, but in real gold and silk. There is an illuminated book of parchment, which appears more real than reality and a little bell of wrought silver, which is more beautiful than words can tell. So, let's have a closer look at some of these stunning details. The Bible, the silver bell and the pommel on the Pope's chair are all captured beautifully and all properly represent the sophisticated taste of the Medici family. The handwritten and decorated Bible on the table is actually a famous one. It is probably the Hamilton Bible, which still exists today. It was originally commissioned in the middle of the 14th century for Queen Joanna I of Naples as a gift for an influential French family. It was written by Giovanni de Ravenna and illustrated by Cristoforo Oromina, one of the best decorators of Bibles ever. The Bible is opened on the first page of the Gospel of John, a reference to the birth name of the Pope, which was Giovanni, Italian for John. In this Bible, the beginning of each Bible book was richly decorated, and various scenes from the book appeared as small paintings, like we can see here. They basically form an illustrated narrative of various key moments in the Gospel of John. Notice how Raphael properly added the text on one page, but for the other page he just created the illusion of the text. Notice also one little detail at the bottom of the first page, and it may be hard to see, but it is the inclusion of the Medici coat of arms, which looks like this, and which has been included by Raphael. And when we zoom in at the silver bell, you may see the Medici symbol appearing again. The references are subtle and hard to see with the naked eye, but they're definitely there. And by the way, the bell was simply a tool for the Pope to call his servants. The rounded knob, known as a pommel, on the Pope's chair is a further reference to the balls in the Medici coat of arms. And on top of that, it also has great details. Giorgio Vasari described it as follows. Among other things, also, is a ball of burnished gold on the Pope's chair, wherein are reflected, as if it were a mirror, such is its brightness, the light from the windows, the shoulders of the Pope, and the wall around them. Raphael completed this painting in 1518 and it arrived from Rome to Florence just in time to be present at the wedding of Lorenzo II de Medici, the new Florentine ruler and nephew of the Pope. Portrayed here by Raphael, this Lorenzo II is not to be confused with his grandfather Lorenzo the Magnificent, whom we see here, and who was the father of Pope Leo X. Anyway, Lorenzo II was getting married with Madeleine de la Tour d'Auvergne, a member of the French royal family, and this was a strategic marriage arranged by Pope Leo X and King Francis I of France. It would ensure that the Vatican would have authority over the Catholic Church in France, 
and the Pope offered in return to support Francis's claim to the throne of Naples. The painting of Pope Leo X got a prominent place at the wedding celebrations in Florence, hanging above the main table, such that the Pope was symbolically present at the wedding banquet. And next to the Pope are two other members of the Medici family, both cousins of the Pope and his most important advisors. On one side is Giulio de' Medici, who would become Pope Clement VII some five years after this painting was made. Standing behind the chair is Luigi de Rossi, a cardinal in Rome who would die two years later. By now you will have noticed that this painting is in spectacular condition, thanks to an extensive restoration a few years ago. Here you see the painting before the restoration. It wasn't really terrible, but there were several blisters of the paint layers, cracks, and most of all, the varnish layer has discolored. Putting the works before and after restoration next to each other, it becomes very clear that the brightness of the color suffered the most, the various shades of red, the white of the papal garment, and the silver of the bell. The restoration also revealed how Raphael created this work. He first drew the outlines of the pulp using charcoal, and it appeared to have been made quickly by a confident artist where he already applied the shading and folds of his garments using the charcoal. Then he outlined the two cardinals using thinner strokes, and only after that he would add the details to the painting. The restoration also makes it clear that Raphael did not try to idealize the facial looks of the Pope, but that he captured him quite realistically. You can see for example some darker areas in the Pope's face, like on his cheeks and above and below his mouth, indicating a slight regrowth of his beard. Well, I hope you found this analysis of one of the later paintings by Raphael interesting. This symphony in red is on display in Florence. I saw the work in the Palazzo Pitti, but it may return to the Uffizi at some point. Finally, I would love to hear any thoughts or comments from you about this painting, or suggestions for future videos on this channel. And if you want to support the channel, I would appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button, subscribe and click the notification bell to be alerted when new videos are released. Thanks for watching.